Okay, in this video, we are multiplying polynomials together. We're going to use an area model to do that, to help uh, visualize how this happens. So I have a trinomial here, and I have a four-term cubic here. So my area model needs to be uh, three boxes tall. That should get me three boxes good in that direction and four boxes along this way. Uh, so we'll go ahead and build that. Probably stop using multiple colors at this point. Maybe not. So it should be that way and this way. That should take care of what I need. So my quadratic here is going to go as a 2x squared minus 3x and a plus 5 in that direction. And then I'll have an x cubed minus 3x squared plus 2x plus 7 there. And then I'm just going to fill in the areas of the little individual boxes. So in this upper left hand corner, this, when I multiply together the 2x squared and the x cubed, I get a 2x to the fifth. 2x squared, I'll work my way across the top here and get a negative 6x to the fourth there. A 4x to the third there and a 14x squared there. Coming back down to the middle then, I get a negative 3x to the fourth. A 9x cubed a negative 6x squared, a negative 21x. And back down to the bottom again now, I get a 5x cubed there, a negative 15x squared, a 10x, and a plus 35. Now, when I want to combine things together, because I put these in uh, standard form in both instances, I'm just adding up things on the diagonals. So my first diagonal coming through here gives me a 2x to the fifth. On my next diagonal, those are both x to the fourth, they're like terms, and when I add those together I get a negative 9x to the fourth. Put these three together here, that looks like an 18x cubed. Um, here I've got a looks like negative 7x squared happening right there. This one, the 10x minus the 21x gives me a negative or subtracting 11x. And then I've got a plus 35 at the end. And that is the simplified product in standard form of... Uh, the problem that I was asked to do. Just like that.